You might want to ask, what is the role of journalists? Do journalists exist to inform or to entertain? I'll attempt to answer that. A journalist's main task is to inform and give his or her readers the facts. His or her secondary task is to interpret, to put the facts in their framework, and where possible to draw conclusions. These are the tasks of political journalists as well as crime reporters, society page writers, human story writers, sports writers, and indeed every other journalist. However, some idealists claim that celebrity journalists are destroying the journalistic mission. Those who consume this genre of journalism disagree. Their argument is that people who say that reporting celebrities is somehow different are usually intellectual snobs. Genuine free speech means that there must be room for taste, for different tastes, for people to consume news that we personally disapprove of. The alternative is censorship. And where do I stand in all of this? My stand is news is a consumer-driven commodity and journalists have a duty to deliver what consumers want. Some readers like to be informed about stocks and shares, others like to be informed about foreign affairs, others like to be informed about celebrities. Readers have different tastes and in a free society, there's room in the marketplace for all kinds of tastes. My guest, Dili Momodu, understands this treason and he has made a career, no, a business of celebrity journalism. He joins me on View from the Top today and I am delighted. Bob D, as we call him, thank you for joining us. Thanks so much for inviting me on your very popular program. I'm very delighted to be on it. Born on 16 May 1960, Dele Momodu graduated from the University of Ife, now Bafemi Aulo University in 1982, with a degree in Yoruba, and later a master's degree in literature in English in 1988. He started his career as a lecturer at the Oyo State College of Arts and Science, Ileife. Between 1983 and 1985, he was private secretary to the former deputy governor of Ondo State, Chief Aki Omo In May 1988, Mr. Momodu got his first job a staff writer with African Concord magazine. Following this, he started a public relations outfit, Celebrities Goodwill Limited, and he first published Ovation magazine in 1996. Dili Momodu made an unsuccessful bid for the office of president in 2011. He was awarded with an honorary doctorate degree from the University of Professional Studies, Accra, Ghana. Tell me, how did you decide that a, a celebrity magazine was what you wanted to specialize in? My background as a celebrity reporter started from uh, the Weekend Concord, which was started in 1989. Uh, we had a weekend paper that came out on Saturday, and I was a pioneer member of that publication. Uh, my editor then was uh, Mike Awoyinfa and his deputy was the late Dingba Igwe, and they really, really tutored me on celebrity reporting. I was one of their star reporters. I churned out covers upon covers. I did the, an exclusive, in fact, the very maiden cover of that uh, weekend paper uh, was on a, an interview I did with Mrs. Lide Shoyeka, and it, it was a bomb, you know, and thereafter, we, we published a lot of our celebrities. And so, then uh, in 1990, Mayelin Ezekiel approached me and said she wanted me to edit Classic Magazine and that propelled me again into the world of celebrity reporting, uh, meeting the mighty. And I actually got addicted to it. It's very addictive. You know, you are meeting people that people dream of meeting almost on a daily basis. And it gets to a stage where you begin to feel like one of them. You feel like you're a big man yourself because of the enormous power you wield. What do you mean power? You know, nobody really likes people writing about their private lives, except when they're able to control it. And more often than not, we want to write sometimes what the characters don't want people to know about them. So that's what gives you the power. Uh, almost every week I got into trouble uh, reporting, you know, the lifestyle of the rich and famous Nigerians. But you know, 
people also sometimes say that magazines such as yours celebrate people who don't necessarily make their money the clean way. Do you have any moral issues around this? No. You see, more often than not, people speak about what they know little about. The job of a journalist is not to discriminate. Our job is very simple. There is a wedding between the daughter of President Buhari and maybe Ali Haji Indimi, the invite of Asia. There is a wedding between President Jonathan's daughter and someone, maybe we don't know the parents, but of course it attracts attention because of the daughter of Mr. President. They will invite Pastor Adeboye to officiate in church. He comes, he prays for them, he blesses them. We record. We go to reception. They call Elizabeth R or Sapphire events to plan the events. They bring the food vendors, they bring the drinks, the decor, and everything, and everybody gets paid. And all we're doing at Ovation is clicking away with our cameras. Then at the end of the day, when the story comes out, you ignore Pastor Adeboye, who prayed at the wedding. You ignore Elizabeth R, who coordinated the event. You ignore Alibaba and others, and then you come and grab the photographer. You say you are the one promoting corruption. I think that's uh, the height of ignorance. Our job is to record. Someone must record. As a matter of fact, what we have contributed in terms of providing job opportunities for Nigerian youth is something that one day I believe will be celebrated. Before, it was almost impossible for a photographer to say you want to go and photograph a bride in the north. We're breaking down those barriers. We're breaking down the walls of superstition.